back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing my first cooking video. It's my day off and I told you guys I was going to be doing a cooking video soon. So yeah, today is my first day of doing that. And so yeah, I'm going to be making um, homemade nachos. I'm going to make homemade refried beans. The seasoned ground uh, taco meat, gaso, and then I'm gonna cut up the veggies like lettuce, tomato, and avocado, and then we throw like jalapenos on top. So, yeah. The first thing I'm going to be doing is assorting the beans out. This is a must because there are sometimes rocks inside the beans or your beans are broken or there's dark beans in there and you don't want to put that in your beans because it'll make it taste gritty and it just won't taste right. So this step you have to do. So the first thing I'm going to be doing. And excuse my face guys, I do not have on any makeup. I wanted to let my face, you know, breathe today. <laughs> so yeah, I am happy I have a day off. I get to cook with you guys. So I hope y'all enjoy the video and let me know if y'all do so that way I can make more videos like these. I love to cook so. I would be more than happy to do these kind of videos. My husband went to his dad's house and I don't know if y'all know this about me. I, I don't think I've told um, anybody except for like my family, they know about about me. Um, I do have three boys. I am married. I've been married for 13 years. We've been together 14. And my oldest son, he's 12. His name is Jordan. And then I have a nine-year-old. His name is Aiden. And then I have an eight-year-old. His name is Jaden. We're hoping for a boy, but I mean, not a boy, a girl, but it didn't happen. So I got my tubes tied. I was like, you know what? <laughs> Three's enough. Yeah, three kids are a handful. So I got my tubes tied. But, anyways, um, my husband took the boys to his dad's and they went swimming and they're barbecuing and um, they all wanted me to go of course but I wanted to stay here so that way I can vlog this little video so that way I can get it up upload it for you guys to see I'm a little nervous just to throw that out there so if I stutter or you know <laughs> anything in general I apologize Okay, I'm going to put the good beans in the strainer so that way I can rinse them. Sorry guys, I'm looking at my, my uh, phone because my husband just texted me. He said they're barely getting in the pool right now. 
The reason why I started so late is because um, I had to get my kitchen clean. <laughs> I didn't want to film in a dirty kitchen. So yeah, and it's three o'clock. So yeah, I had to get that clean before I started. Well, I like to do that anyhow, whether I'm vlogging or not, because I feel like I cannot cook right in a dirty kitchen. You know what I mean? So, yeah, it has to be clean before I start cooking. Who else does that? Am I the only one? Am I just OCD about it, or do y'all guys do that too? Let me know. A lot of these beans are good. Oh, my husband just said, wish you were here. I know, baby. I wish I was there, too. They were making um, hot dogs and um, sausage. And they were having chips and juice spending time with grandpa because they haven't seen him in a while and they finally get to go because um, I have a day off and I'm not using the car so that's why they took advantage of going today Excuse the noise in the background. I have my dishwasher going. I apologize. Well, I picked a good bag of beans. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. I always look at the bag of beans before purchasing to see if there's a lot of black ones or brown ones or broken ones or whatever, you know. Because I don't want to buy a bag of messed up beans. And I got this container um, from Dollar Tree, if you guys uh, are wondering. I like to keep my beans in there. I bought another one for like rice or um, cereal um, or noodles, pasta. it works great I wish I would have found the other one that everybody else was hauling it was a different brand it wasn't the sure fresh but I couldn't find it so I just got that one
I'm gonna do a little bit more. I have about that much in the um, strainer. Do a little bit more. And then I'm gonna take it to the sink and rinse them. Some people like to soak their beans overnight, but I don't think you have to do that. It's just, I guess, a preference of theirs. I've never done that, and my beans always come out good. I just sort, rinse, uh, put them in the pot, and they're ready to go. They say that it, um, what do you call it? It speeds up the cooking time, which I don't know is true because I've never soaked my beans. So if y'all guys know, let me know. So that way, one day I can do that. Some blossom, almost done. Man, it is hot in here. Whew. Okay. Alrighty, I'm gonna take y'all guys to the sink with me. Make sure y'all rinse them in um, cold water. And rinse them thoroughly. shimmy shake that's what Rachel Ray says <laughs> can y'all tell I watch a lot of cooking shows okay I'm gonna turn you guys around and I'm gonna pour it in the pot make sure you get all of them in there and then I'm gonna fill it up with water turn the camera back around cold water, it has to be cold water, and I want to use my fresh water that I have. And you want to fill it up, I want to say, a little bit above where those two circles are for the handles. because the beans are going to expand and they take about three hours to cook. Let's say about right there. That's great. Ah, let me move this thing out the way. Alrighty, take it back to the stove, and then I'm going to turn it on, I want to say about medium, about medium heat, okay guys, the next thing I'm going to be doing, I'm going to chop up some onion, So that way I can throw it into the pot. I say about that much.
And the next thing I like to add is some sliced pork salt. I normally use bacon, but today I just feel like using pork salt. It makes the beans come out delicious. The juice is nice and thick. It gives it a good flavor. I prefer this over bacon. Makes it taste better. And I did buy the sliced one, so I'm gonna put about, I guess about half of it. Give it a stir. And you don't want to add any spices or any salt until the beans are almost ready. Because if you do, it'll break up the um, beans and it'll make them gritty. So I like to wait until they're almost ready, and then I'll add all my spices. Okay, it looks like that. I'm gonna go ahead and put a lid on it and let it cook for about three hours. Okay guys, I am back. Um, my beans, they've been cooking for about, uh, about two hours, roughly, and the next step I'm going to be doing is adding my spices. And what I like to use is ground gominos, garlic powder, onion powder, salt and pepper. But I do not add any salt until they are completely done. Take all that off. I'm gonna go ahead and add the spices. And I do not measure it, I just eyeball it. The garlic powder, the onion powder. The only time I measure stuff is when I'm baking. And pepper. And I like to add a lot of pepper because I love pepper. I'm going to get the other one because that one's not coming out fast enough for me. <laughs> there we go. I'm going to give it a stir. And I had to turn down the temperature to um, like medium low because they were cooking um, too fast. And if they're cooking too fast, they tend to break up. So I turned them down. Okay, that's good. And then I'm going to put the lid back on and let it cook for about another hour. Okay. Give me just a sec, guys. 
Okay, guys, the next thing the next thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to chop up some onion for my um, ground beef. And then I got my ground beef, and I'm going to throw that in the pan. Turn the fire on to about medium. And I don't think I'm going to add all of these onions. I cut up too much. So I'm going to add about, I guess about three quarters. And start breaking it up. Let me get the camera a little bit closer so that way you can see. And I like to use ground chuck because it's like 80-20, the percentage of fat ratio. I like to break it up a little bit. I don't know if you can see that or not. And then I'm going to be adding some uh, ground cominos, and again I eyeball it, and then some onion powder, just a little bit because it has fresh onion, then garlic powder. Pepper, pretty simple. Ooh, let me turn down my beans, they're going pretty, pretty good. And then some salt. cook it th uh, thoroughly so it's cooked through make sure you chop it up good and I'm using about a about a pound of hamburger meat well ground chuck Okay guys, um, the meat has been cooking for about five minutes. It's almost done. I broke it up pretty good. And at this at this point it looks like that. Looks yummy. The onions are almost tender. The beans are looking marvelous. I see a little bit of pink in the meat still. Almost done. It smells phenomenal. So 
some people like to use the package taco seasoning, but I prefer to add my own spices. Tastes more authentic. These nachos are going to be delicious. Okay, this ground beef looks... Okay, guys, I'm back. Um, the next step I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be cutting up some lettuce, tomato, and avocado. I already uh, rinsed my veggies, so they're good to go. So I'm going to cut up the tomato first. Cut off the end. Okay, the next thing I'm going to cut up is the lettuce. Just take a big old bunch. Sorry guys for the camera moving. I don't have enough counter space. There we go. Okay. And I like to add salt and pepper on the veggies. And I'm gonna open up the avocado. Okay, sorry my hands are messy. And then I'm gonna go ahead and chop that up. Okay. 
put the knife in the sink. Get this napkin. Okay, then I'm gonna add salt and pepper to the veggies to give it some flavor. I like to flavor every layer. Give it a little taste, make sure it has enough. Okay guys, I'll be back in just a sec to show you how to do the gessel. Okay guys, so now I'm making the gessel. And the processed cheese I like to use is the Easy Melt. Um, this is only sold at HEB's um, here in Texas. But you can also use the Velveeta. But we like this one better because uh, it's cheaper for one. And for two, I think it tastes better. Over, oops. I just dropped a piece of cheese over uh, Velveeta. I'm cutting it up into cubes. And I'm going to use about three quarters of the block. You don't want to use all of it because that will be too much. Well, it depends on how many you're feeding. You know what I mean? I have a family of five, so. And a little bit more. this up. I'm going to put it away. Okay, then I'm going to be adding some red gold petite diced tomatoes with green chilies. You can also use Rotel. So I think I'm going to add the whole can. So we like a lot of tomatoes. Juice and all gives it more flavor. And the next thing I'm going to add is a splash of milk. It makes it more creamier and it it makes more gesso basically. I just like like to add a splash of milk. And to turn it on on low and just let it start doing its thing it looks like my beans are I already added the salt to my beans because they're about ready and I'm gonna go ahead and grab a spoon to see where the texture is as far as readiness. Mm -hmm. Yep, they're, they're ready. And I'm going to show you what they look like. Let me turn it off. And it looks like that. See how the juice is nice and thick? That's what you want. And I'm going to show you guys how I refry my beans. I'll be back in just a sec, okay guys?
Okay, guys. This is what they're looking like. You're going to let them simmer and let them refry so they can thicken up. And then you're going to be adding a little bit more of the bacon grease. Let them refry for about maybe seven minutes after you add more grease and then they should be uh, ready to go. Okay guys, the beans have been cooking for about five minutes and they're going to look like that. You don't want to stir them a lot. You want them to look like this so that way they can thicken up and refry. But I'm going to go ahead and give it a stir. Scrape the bottom. And you want to cook it until all the shininess basically evaporates because that shininess is the bacon grease. And you want that to cook down before you add any more grease. So that's why it's called refry beans because you're refrying it twice. Okay. And let it cook a little bit longer. Okay, okay guys, I'm back. Um, I'm going to add some more bacon grease. Not too much more. I say about that much. And then you're going to stir it in. And you're going to let this cook for about seven more minutes. And your beans are ready to go after that. See how nice and thick they've become? That's what you want. Okay guys, I'm going to go ahead and let my beans cook for 7 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and wash up. I'm going to get the plates out so that way I can assemble the nachos and I'll show you what the finished product looks like. Okay guys, my beans are done. My meat is done. I reheated it because it's been sitting there for a while. My cheese is done. So there's the beans. That's the thickness that you're looking for. I don't know if y'all can see that or not. That's what you want. You want it to look like that. And then my meat. And my queso. So I'm gonna go ahead and assemble my nachos. I am using the Dollar Tree nachos that I bought. I put them on my plate like that. And I'm going to come over here and I'm going to add the beans first. And you can always add more salt to your beans, but you really don't need it because the bacon grease has enough salt in it. So it's to your liking basically like that and then I'm gonna go ahead and add some meat even layer I'm going to 
add the queso, nice and creamy. looking like this so far doesn't that look yummy okay I'm gonna take y'all over here and I'm going to add some lettuce because I love to put lettuce on my nachos it's basically like a big taco to me <laughs> and I'm gonna add some tomato I love the tomato just like that and then I'm going to add some avocado and then last but not least some jalapenos gotta have jalapenos I like to use a lot of jalapenos. Okay, guys. This is the finished product. I don't know if y'all can see. Yep. Okay guys, I'm about to go grub on these nachos. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a huge thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. And also comment down below and tell me your thoughts on this scrumptious nachos. I would love to hear from you guys. And uh, make sure you subscribe. I would be happy for y'all to join my little family. And uh, yeah. I'm going to go grub, so I'll talk to you in my next video. Y'all take care. Bye.